Hey, welcome to my bathroom. Oh, hi guys. This is future slash past art, depending on how you want to look at it. Interrupting the beginning of this video to say that we have a sponsor. Yeah, we have a sponsor. It's filet! I'm a big proponent in clean beauty, making sure that you're keeping icky chemicals out of your skincare or just like general well being. I do eat McDonald's on the occasion, but other than that, I try to keep my skin pretty ticketed tight. You know what I'm saying? And one of the best ways to do that is to go to a retailer that has clean beauty as a priority, and Filane does. They boast that they have a five step check program so they can go through and make sure there are no creepy phthalates or any other gross little chemicals. They restrict over 30 ingredients, which is crazy. Three, zero. If you have those ingredients in your products, not allowed on the website. They have a little tester kit for you guys to try out if you would like to, if you're from my audience and you're like, I'd like to get involved in that. You can try out their trial kit, which is a travel kit. It's originally $45, but you can get it for 50% off if you're one of the first 100 people to go click the link in my description box. $22 instead of 45. Very accurate quote. First off, you get one of my favorite products, which is the Filane like everyday soap. It is amazing. It smells like art class, like turpentine soap. It's so good. You can use this on everything like babies and dogs uh, and your hands and probably your butt too. So you could put this all over the place and you'd be totally fine. Then you get an Indie Lee toner and this stuff is amazing. I'm like, already starting to get worried because the bubble on this is getting kind of big and I don't have a full size of this. And then you also get the OC Ocean Cleanser, which is a delight. This is actually a pretty big bottle of it for it being a tester size. This stuff is amazing. It smells like lime. It has seaweed and algae in it. So it's supposed to um, help clarify the skin, make your skin all bright and glowy, and it does. And then you also get the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream recovery cream, which is amazing. I used it last night because I've had some scarring issues and it's got me going places. You can get that whole little kit with four great, great, great delicious products for $22. Just go click the link in the description box if you would like to. We're gonna go actually do our skincare now. So let's go, here's my morning routine, skincare. I'll meet you in the bathroom. One more time. Oh, huh? well, hi guys. Um, <laughs> welcome to my bathroom. Hi. Oh, let me just spin into this. Hey, welcome to my bathroom. Oh, I'm dizzy now. As I said previously, I've been having a little bit of a breakout thing going on. And I know like touching my face is probably not helping it, but I wash my hands with, I bet you can guess, my filet soap. This is a full size bottle of it. I seriously can't get enough of it. Last night, I did a little bit of a an AHA situation, uh, which was good. So I thought I'd talk about that for two seconds before we get into actual skincare. I use the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow, which is such an amazing product. This stuff is beautiful. It smells like honey. Um, it is a miracle potion. It has AHA resurfacing night serum in it. So it basically just gives your skin a little bit of a tingle. So if you're sensitive to acids, patch test it somewhere on your inner arm to make sure it won't like irritate your skin. I love it because it just like clears my skin, just like scrubs it clean and leaves it fresh and looking great. It also smells amazing. My skin feels moisturized and bouncy and lovely today. Um, and I think it's mostly this. Another product which can be great for that, which you can actually get at Filane, um, is the Herbivore Blue Blue Tansy Resurfacing Clarity Mask. This stuff is crazy. Okay, I love the Honeymoon Glow. It's amazing. This one, I have seen entire Reddit threads about because people love this one so much. And I love it too, but it's a little bit confusing. This is just like a deluxe sample size of it, but I will probably not go through this in like three months because the product, you don't have to use that much and it's very potent. So it looks like this. It's very liquidy, so I don't even wanna like spill it over, but it looks like slime goo. And it smells like 
slimy goo. It's a mask, so you put it on your face, you kind of massage it in, and it goes like this very clear, like you can't even really see the mask when it's on. But it has AHAs and BHAs in it, so when you put it on and leave it on, it gives you a bit of a tingle, you wash it all off, and then your skin looks like you were just born that day. Like, it looks so good. Especially if you're having some crazy acne situations. That was one thing on Reddit that I saw, was that people used it as a mask when they were having very bad breakouts, and it just kind of like calms everything down a little bit. So, not only is it very chemically exfoliating and it's resurfacing, but also it helps with acne prone skin. Love that combination, just thought I would point that out. You can also get this on Filane. You guys are actually getting to see the tile in my bathroom now. This is cute. Okay, so first things first, I'm gonna put my hair back. That's me ready to go. I got these ears from I Do Skincare, which I think is sold at Ulta. So if you wanna check those out, very cute. First off, I'm gonna use the Origins Clean Energy Gentle Cleansing Oil to just get off like the rest of my makeup residue from last night, anything that might be left over. This is so good if you're someone who wants to use um, oils to cleanse, but you've never really gone like full, full like oil cleansing routine. This is a good like first step to get into it. This I've had for at least a year, maybe longer. Fortunately, it lasts for two years in this bottle, but I have used it like religiously and this is how much has been actually used. It is unreal how long this product lasts. And I have like spilled it. I use a lot like, oh dear. I use at least a quarter size amount every time I use it. And what's really cool is you take it, and when you rub it all in, put it on your face, and you can get this everywhere, which is one of the reasons why I love it. It is one of those oils that like, if you wear contact lenses, do not use this cleanser while you have contact lenses in, because it will give you that like oily film. And that is no bueno. So. I'll put that all over, put a little bit of water on my hands, and look, it turns it into a cream, which is crazy, look. How cool is that? Now I've got that all on, let's wash this off and move on to our second cleanser. <laughs> High maintenance, yes. <laughs> now, we have cleansed once with this. Since that's an oil cleanser, it gets rid of like built up dirt and all of that. But now we kind of want to get rid of the residue from this because it does leave a light residue. So what I'm going to do is use my OC Ocean Cleanser. Um, just give like a couple pumps of that. It smells like a tropical vacation. Um, it smells like margaritas and I feel like I'm getting contact drunk, but that's fine. This stuff is just a cream cleanser. It's very gentle. Uh, it does have lime extract, like citrus extract, and seaweed and algae, so it makes your skin really moisturized. But I will say it still really cleanses, which is the thing that I like. Like, I don't feel stripped, but I do have that like clean feeling afterwards. Like, it doesn't feel like it left anything over, which I like. And then once I have that all on, we're gonna wash it off. I should also mention, it's good to do this on your neck too. Your neck needs love. Your chin, your neck, don't leave it out. Okay, Woo. Now that we're done with that, um, it's time to move on to toners. Now, if I did two cleansers and you thought that was crazy, I usually do two toners as well. Two tones. I actually don't know where my nipple pads are, so that sounds weird. I use nipple pads, like nipple covers, like breast, feeding nipple covers as my reusable um, cotton rounds. I'll put a picture of one over here if you wanna look for something on Amazon like it. Um, but it's good because you're not just, you know, wasting cotton rounds. Cause I use so many of them when I'm taking off my makeup, when I'm putting on toners, like I'm always, I'm like a cotton round but it's good to have like a reusable option. So I can put all of those in a little mesh baggie. They come with like 20 of them, I think. Throw them on in the wash um, and then you can just keep reusing them and they're awesome. And I think Will's mom might think I'm crazy because she keeps seeing nipple covers everywhere all over the house. So, um, <laughs> Just keep that in mind. So the one thing that I would use if I didn't use an acid last night on my skin would be the Glossier Solution Exfoliating Skin Perfector. I would use this during the day if I didn't do an acid treatment the night before, which I did. So just wanted to point that out. I've been testing this out. I don't know how I feel about it yet. I'm a 
a third of the way through the bottle, so I've still got some time to like think about it. But I like it so far. Its main active ingredient is salicylic acid, which is kind of like, to me, it's like, can we just stop with the salicylic acid thing? It's like not enough. You know what I mean? Like I'm over here with like my AHAs trying to like strip my skin and like bring it back to life. And like this, I feel like doesn't, I don't know. I need to test out more before I have like a definitive thought on it. So I am gonna use a little bit of the Indie Lee toner. And what I like to do with this, because this nozzle isn't the best to like spray on your face, it'll spray some in my hand. Oh, oh no, I just like wasted $30. And then I'll smooth it out on my hand and then give my skin a little pat with the toner, which smells so good. Oh, it smells so clean and cooling. Oh, on my decolletage. Just about everywhere that I might need to have a little tone down, you know what I mean? And then, once that's done and my pH is balanced, then I'll put this little guy away and I'll use the Aesop b and Balancing Toner. So I have gone through two bottles of this. This is my third bottle. It's my favorite toner. It can take off your makeup. Um, it's gentle enough to use like around your eyes and it never irritates me. It's just like the nicest, the nicest toner. It smells amazing. And once again, I would usually use this on a cotton pad or like a nipple pad, um, but I can do the same thing where you pour a little bit in my hand. I know like every person on skincare addiction subreddit on Reddit is like, what are you doing right now? But I like doing this. When you use cotton pads or you use nipple pads, sometimes I feel like all the product gets absorbed into um, the cotton round that you're using or whatever you're using and it doesn't get in your skin, bitch. So I'm trying to get that moisture and that like goodness directly in my skin. So now that that is done, I feel so like, I don't know, moisturized after all of that. Now after that is done, it's time to actually moisturize. Now because I used the Ursa Major Golden Hour Recovery Cream last night, and because it is, like I said, a heavier cream, um, I would probably not use this during the day. I would use this as my nighttime routine. I will, however, go in with the Origins Ginseng Energy Boosting Gel Moisturizer, um, which smells like mandarin oranges it smells so good and it's a light moisturizer it's not something intense which i like it's just a gel moisturizer a little bit on this hi and then spread it all out does anybody else just like pat their face like a madman every time they do their skincare i'm like come on i'm gonna stay young forever I'm patting my age into non-existence so that's it, that's it for my skincare routine. If I wanted to do anything else, I might add an eye cream if I'm particularly tired that day, um, or if I need to put like eye pads under my eyes, I could do that as well. I'm taking off the bare thing, because otherwise my bangs will never look the same today. And that's my skin, that's my skin done. Um, yeah, pretty simple, pretty easy. I know like double cleanser, double toner, feels like a lot, but I feel like if I didn't care about my skin and if I wasn't treating it correctly, I would have a lot more issues with my acne than I do now. Um, obviously I still have some little breakouts that I wish would go away. Clearly hormonal, they're always on my chin. But other than that, skin's been doing pretty well recently. I have a whole video that I want to come out because I actually monitored my skin for a full month and I found some very interesting stuff out. So I'm gonna try to post that at some point in the future. But anyways, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this morning skincare routine. Now I'm gonna go put on makeup and go vote bitch because the polling stations are open and I am going. I'm gonna go vote on propositions and senators and Supreme Courts and all kinds of things. So I hope that all of you voted because if you didn't, <laughs> then you might not be part of America and that's fine, that's okay. But if you're from the US of A and you didn't vote, what are you doing? I love you guys so much. Thank you, Felaine, once again for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys for the next one. Bye!